Hello and welcome back to another episode of Moss Valley. So, we are now on the first day of January. Got a bit in time since the uh, the last episode. Uh, since the last episode, I sold two pallets of eggs that we ended up with. So they came to just over £10,000, I believe. So, yeah, sold them. Um, we've got a few more chickens about now, obviously. So this shed is full. Nope, that's the wrong shed. I always get these confused because they look so similar. <laughs> uh, yeah, this shed is far full with chickens. Um, I've left a bit of room, obviously, for when um, when they have chicks. But, um, yeah, if we go in the other one now, this has got all the chicks in. So, there we go. They are in here. They look quite, uh, looking quite happy. I'm not sure. I feel like I should swap them, uh, swap them over. I feel like um, the chick should be in the other one because it's a smaller shed, and the um, the bigger chicken should be in this one. I'm not sure as well. This one holds more, so yeah, I might do that. I might swap swap them around. Um, so if I go like this, put them in there, and then move these. Like so. Should have probably done this before I uh, started the episode, but never mind. I only just really thought of it now, in, uh, in all fairness. And then the rooster. There we go. I think that makes a bit more sense. Yeah, they've got more room in here. And then obviously the other one, with it being a bit of a, a smaller shed, it makes sense to have the uh, the chicks in them. So, yeah, I think that seems, uh, seems better. So, yeah, they're in here. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. Oh, we're doing for eggs still. We've got a pallet and a bit, so obviously now we're storing these up until next uh, next sort of November time. So yeah, leave them there for the time being. Um, I have had issues with the twine add-on. Uh, there was an update for it uh, today as of this recording, um, and it just messed my save game up save game wouldn't load so of course i had to take the um the mod out which meant the bells disappeared and all sorts of issues so consequently um i've had to sort of from memory um put in the money we would have got for the bells if we did sell them so i know from looking at the last video that the straw is worth about 148k um, and I think for memory, obviously it wasn't on the video because they, they weren't si silage at that point, but for memory, I think the silage was worth about 110k. So I've added that in. Um, obviously I paid, I've paid all the loan off with the money that we had. So that's what we're left over so far now is 169, nearly 170k. Um, and what we've got to sell today is the oats. I want to get all of them sold because we're at the best uh, price now, 192k. So we're, um, yeah, we're going to go and sell these at uh, Ridgeway Goods. The wheat, obviously, we want to keep for the uh, for the chickens. So yeah, I've got a tray load ready to go. So, we are going towards field 71, down the sort of bottom end of the uh, of the map, put the beacons on. Yeah, I had all sorts of problems with the, uh, with the twine add-on. I've had to um, place that shed back in because they were still technically appearing. They weren't, like, visible, but they were still showing up in the menu as still there, and yeah... 
all sorts of uh, issues and problems so that'll be the last time I use uh, <laughs> use that mod but anyway never mind you live and you learn there we go probably should have gone for the other way through the uh, through the yard but never mind never think of that until you've you've drove through the uh <laughs> the narrow track but yeah selling a bit of uh selling a bit of grain it allows us to explore the map a bit more take in the views but a lot of people in the uh, comment section commenting how uh, stunning this map is and it really is the uh, the views yeah is a really really beautiful looking map I would personally put this down better than uh, Port Farms in terms of obviously <clears throat> the playability of the map is better and then the detail I would say is not perhaps as good as court farms but getting towards uh, getting towards that way go. heading down here I actually haven't been to this cell point yet so this will uh, this will be interesting we obviously should get a slight bonus, I would say, with precision farming. Um, you get a bit of a bonus for your environmental score, so I'm not hoping for masses, but I think there'd be a bit of a bonus. I have been to this cell point. I sold the eggs at this cell point. Right, we'll take the cover off. up and we'll see how much we're going to get per trailer load obviously the whole lot is going to be worth 192 nearly 193k but still interesting to see what we get from uh, from each load there we go 42,000 then yeah 610 pounds for the uh, environmental score reward not a massive amount like I thought it would be but uh, it's still a bit of a bonus obviously it'd be a lot better this year with what we've done with the fields and uh, and whatnot but yeah obviously this money um, will probably go towards a new field I don't know obviously I can't really buy pigs at the moment because um I haven't got the uh, the feed really for them, so that's really going to come next year. So we could possibly, yeah, look at a new field. I'm tempted to get another grass field. In uh, in all honesty, I think we went this way, didn't we? Um, because obviously there wasn't, you know, silage is worth a good amount. You haven't got a perhaps put as much work into to doing it um, like you have with Arable so I mean if we made 110,000 of just that one field then if we got another one you know maybe we could get field um, I mean there's this one next to us field 52 Have a quick look. See, uh, see what there's up in our price range. So there's 27 and 25, which is only 27 is worth 22k. Nice soil as well. So is 25. That's 72. I mean, we could get both and still have a decent uh, bit left over. The one nearest to us now, the soil is not as good. Um. 
So, yeah. I'm thinking we get 26 and 25. Obviously, the track leads up to them, so we can gain access to them. Um, oh, we, can, we can gain access to 26 that way. I don't think there's a gateway through, but we can still go up the track here and gain access to it. So we haven't got to go through any um, neighbours' fields, which is always good. So, yeah, I think that's a good plan. 26 and 25. We'll still have a bit of money left over to play with, um, you know, for, you know, when we need to buy stuff. Um, trying to close that door. I can't remember what the, whoops, that's not the right one. But yeah, I think that's a good plan. Not too expensive. Uh, I mean, they're not massive, but you look at the size of them. 25 I'd say is as big as 31 if not slightly bigger uh, 26 isn't very big we'll perhaps have a drive up in a minute and, uh, and have a look at it when we've got this uh, this grain sold take the truck around here but I think yeah 100% 25 would be a good field to buy I mean, even possibly field 24. How much is 24? That's going to be 100k. Decent is oil on the whole. So that could be a possibility. That's a real good size field. That's the one just over there on the, uh, the hill. But yeah, it's it's nice to think in the first year we've um, we've made good progress, you know. Already thinking of buying a um another field already. There we go, so that's filling up. I think obviously you can choose what grain to have out. It must mean that you can um, have different um, grain types in that silo at one given time, which is quite good. So, handy to know anyway, handy to know. Right, I'm gonna crack on, get this sold, and see uh, see how much money we end up with at the end. So, I have finished up selling all the grain. We ended up with a bank balance of four hundred and eight thousand. Obviously, as you can see, we're not on that now. I decided to go ahead and buy field twenty-four. I think it made. Uh, the uh, the most sense we'll drive uh, down and have a quick look at the field in a, in a second but also what i have purchased obviously because we are hoping to grow some corn we obviously need the equipment for corn so what i have done is gone ahead and bought uh, a corn header for our uh, harvester so uh, i've purchased that and i've obviously as well purchased the uh, a drill to sow the corn so we've got this nice horse seed drill as well. So yeah, we've we've still left with um a nice healthy 175k which we can uh, put towards other things, other costs. Um I mean hopefully maybe some pigs. I think cows were still a bit a uh, bit off yet. But um yeah, overall we're sitting in a in a good position at the moment. So, uh, yeah, two nice pieces of equipment we've purchased and a new field. We will uh, we'll go and have a quick look at the new grass field. Up in the tractor. So, obviously, this year now, when we come to uh, 
mow the grass for uh, for first cut. It'll be the field that we um, we cut last year and this new field. So yeah, we can access the field going along this track, and it's that field just there through the uh, through the trees that you can see. It's a nice, decent sized field. Here we go. This is our field. So obviously nice soil. Shouldn't get too bad of a cut off this uh, this field this year. Lime isn't too bad in summer. In this top of the field, it uh, isn't great. The nitrogen is okay. Could probably be better, but um, overall, I think yeah. We'll get a nice cut off this field. Probably going to look at doing some silage bales again. I think that um, worked quite well last year. Um, or we could actually, with the money that we've got now, we could buy a, uh, a forage wagon. And put it in the, uh, the silage clamp. We've obviously got access to the field next door to it as well at the top. Field 23. We could perhaps buy this in the uh, in the near future. It has got grass growing in this apparently. So little grass field here. I wonder if we can. We've got field eleven as well at the top. Yeah, we can gain access to that as well. So might make sense in the future to buy the other two fields. And uh, we'll have a nice straight run of uh, fields, which would be quite good. I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look as well, while we're at it, at how much a forage wagon would be. So I think, what would we go for? Maybe the Pottinger? It's 70k. We could start off small. Have the, uh, the Stortman. Obviously, both can have a silage additive tank, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, and that might be something else that we uh, we look at doing uh, in the future. But yes, as we look on the top of the hill over at the view, I am going to end today's episode. As always, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please remember to hit the like button down below. Um, and if you're new to the channel as well and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Would be much appreciated. And I will hopefully catch you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.